guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a fair while since I've uh, you know been behind the camera and said hi. So hello to everybody. Uh, as you can see, that you know things have changed a fair while bit within here. I obviously got the bikes up behind me now. I'm desk and everything's moved over to the other side of the room. I and everything's just generally tidy and just how it should be. So anyway, cut a long story short. I've been having issues with that. Uh, which is a M7100 Shimano SLX derailleur. Um, the clutch is sticking on this and there's a, an easy way to service it. So I'm going to uh, pull it apart and show you how it needs to be done. So what you're going to need to service the derailleur? Well, you will need a 2mm hex driver. Uh, you also need some form of flat blade screwdriver. It doesn't really matter what size it is, but as long as it's you know uh, about that big or a bit heftier. And I know that's not exactly spotless, but it'll do. And you will need some very light grease. Um, I'm using obviously as you can see there the Shram butter. Uh, this is suspension grease, but to be fair, it does the, the right job for for what I need. So we'll just uh, kick that out the way for a minute. So let's uh, get this apart and we'll we'll figure out what it is. So first thing round, you need your two mil hex wrench, and I don't know whether or not you'll be able to see. You've got three three two mil hex, hex screws in here. So you've got one there, one there, and one there. So we just start by taking them off. They're collecting tight. So take these out, just put them off to the side so you don't go missing. Now, what it is that happens is the clutch mechanism, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, the it comes with a very light grease on it, um, and not very much of said grease. And due to sorry about the hands. Um, due to the fact of it not having a lot of grease on there, uh, if you don't service the derailleur, then you will tend to find that it'll start sticking. So the first thing we need to do is untake them three screws out and then pop this cap off. And then underneath, you'll be able to see your clutch mechanism. Now, one of the main things that you don't want to lose is this seal just here. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. I'll just get it out and show you. Um, this seal is meant to keep crap out of the uh, the housing, but if you visit Bike Park Wales for a couple of days, that doesn't keep all the crap out, which is why this has started acting up because there's some crud got into the uh, the mechanism itself. So as soon as you've taken the housing off, if you pull your your clutch lever, which is that thing there, so just pull that, and turn that off. And make sure your clutch isn't engaged uh, and once you've done that you can get hold of both of these and you can pull the whole mechanism out as one piece so you have obviously the cantilever which is this bit so when you turn that or your lever that turns this which is not round it uh, looks like a can basically on an engine Right, so as you to rotate this, this side gets greater as it goes round and then that pushes it, the tension against these two which in turn incre increases the tension on the clutch. So you just get that and chuck that over here all the way for a minute. Don't lose the orientation of that as well. Make sure you put it back in the same way you got it up. Right, this, basically if you get your screwdriver and shove it in the middle, you can push the bearing out and then Whatever you do, do not take the screwdriver back out of that till you've got that installed. Now, basically this is a spring, uh, and what it does is it puts more tension on this one-way bearing, which in turn is what gives you your clutch. So inside there you've got like a set of needle roller bearings. I'm not too sure, I'll try and get it so you can see them. Um, but the needle roller bearings will only turn one way. Uh, and due to that, the needle roller bearings go on that shaft. That shaft will turn freely now. Now I've taken this off. So nice and free. So we know the issue is not in here, so in which case it's got to be within this or this. 
So, in here, you've got a needle roller bearings in the back, and it's a one way bearing. So, this shaft, as the derailleur goes to pull down to open out, that bearing is trying to stop it with the springs, with the tension that's created by this spring. So, if you put that on, and you see, you can quite easily spin it backwards. If you go to spin it forwards, it won't turn. And that's that's effectively what gives you your, your clutch. Um, you've also obviously got this lever which is connected to the main lever, so that's your pivot. So as you pull that up, that turns that turns the cam. And as it turns the cam, it puts more tension onto the spring, which in turn increases your spring tension for your, your clutch. So what tends to happen is is as you can see that's not too bad in there to be fair but you tend to get a bit of crud build up inside here or the grease itself just disappears and because of the ten because it's getting used so often when you're riding it tends to burn the grease out so if you look very closely and you see there's no grease at all in there I, it's still obviously nice and shiny and it's got a little tiny bit of residue in there but there's, there's no grease but that's what's causing the issue with the derailleur and why the, the clutch isn't, why it's sticking when it's going to go down because this is actually getting jammed inside there. So, <coughs> what we need to do is we need to get uh, some paper towel, which as per usual I've not got, so give me one second while I run to the kitchen to get some. Two hours later. So, get a piece of paper towel and obviously get this mechanism and get all of that, stick it in there and give it a good clean. Just get as much of the, any, see the way the, oh there we go, gone and done it. <laughs> right, I'll show you how you fix that in a minute as well. So, get your, your paper towel and give it all a good clean inside. Make sure that the, any residue or any bits of crap that are in there, you know, look. And, little bits of crap like that is what will cause issues with the derailleur. Now the SRAM derailleur is a different, the clutch is on there, the clutch is completely sealed. Um, so you don't tend to need to service the SRAM one. Um, whereas in, with the Shimano ones, uh, especially the M7000 which I've got on, on the other bike behind me, um, you will need to service them. If you don't service them then you'll run into this very issue. So give that a good clean. Give in here a good wipe out, just get any any crap that's in there out, you know, make it all, all how it should be, shall we say. And you can see all of that in there now. You know, that's that's not good. So we'll just uh, keep giving it a good old wipe. Get it all nice and spotless again. And that's that done. And then last but not least is the one way bearing. Now you won't need to clean the inside of it. It does have a very, very, very light oil in there, um, which you can put in. But from, a, from what the, the recommendations from uh, Shimano are, you don't really need to. So, I'm just uh, keep giving that a clean. Get any of the crud off that. Um, there wasn't too much on there, but as you see, the, the spring was, was loaded with, with crap. So, now you've got everything all spotless and clean and it's all nice. Just get this last bit here. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. When you're putting the, the cam back in, Number one, make sure it goes in the right way around. If you put the cam in, um, yeah, you can see there there's a step in it. So that's what gives you your tension. So if you put the cam back in, and um, this is on this side, as you go to turn your clutch on, that won't go, the cam itself won't go all the way around, as you can see. So because it doesn't go all the way around, it won't give you the, the tension on the derailleur, so on the clutch, sorry. So just ensure that, that when you put that back in, that the cam itself is the lip of the cam is at the top. So as this goes in, you'll see now. 
as that goes in if you look at the lip the lip folds round to the back portion inside there which means that it'll give you then the correct spring tension so we <coughs> just there uh, we'll pull that out so obviously this was the issue now another thing I've noticed is these are two different lengths the longer side goes on the cam side of the cam tensioner so it doesn't you have to make sure that the shorter side goes up against the up against the little screw and that's the correct orientation if you put it in the other way around and as you go to fold the cam on it won't it won't sit properly and it'll pop off and not work basically so you'll find that you'll have loads of tension and everything will be great and then you'll be riding along and all of a sudden you'll start feeling the chain slap and it'll be because you've probably had to put that in the wrong way around well that's the only reason it can be is you've put the, the spring in the wrong way around so make sure that it goes in that way now on the m7000 both of these are the same length so it doesn't matter which way around you put it in but with, with the m7100 you have to it has to go in that way around so I did exactly what I said to you not to do so you need to get your screwdriver make sure it's all nice and clean or as clean as you can get it push it in from the bottom and then without stabbing yourself in the finger open the spring back up again and just move it around to the top so you're back in you don't want to go too far in because if you go too far in you'll end up scratching the one way there which is not what you want to do so what you'll need is put your, your spring back in there again, get the one way bearing, and you don't need to go berserk, if you go nuts with, all of it, with this grease then it'll end up causing more problems than it will do any good, so literally just a, a little slither on your finger, that's all you need, and you get the one way bearing, and just put it right around the whole bed on the outside obviously as I said to you there's no point cleaning the inside of it so you just want just a little tiny bit don't go mad you just rub that around there there's that paper towel over there and as you can see now hopefully anyway a little bit of grease on there, it's not too, not too mental. So then, you put your bearing back in, and then pull the screwdriver out, and make sure the bit, see the way it's not centered there? It needs to be centered, or as best centered as you can get it. So, just there. Uh, do that. Best thing about using a flat blade screwdriver as well is you can obviously adjust the amount of pressure you're putting within the spring so you can get it centered and gradually pull it out. So that looks pretty good to me. So once you've put that back in, obviously get hold of this, use your little cam. Make sure, as I said, that it's pointing to the outside on the cam or up. Push that back in that way around and then put the whole assembly back on as one piece now I find it easier to locate the bottom and then try and locate the top so as soon as you feel that go then you can then just push it back on don't go mental with it you don't need loads of pressure just just a little bit of pressure so now obviously as you can see it's all back in situ that should lock in place, which it does. You can see there, if I, I don't want to break this, but you can see the tension on the spring go up very slowly as you push the cam on. So that's what it's doing, what it should be doing. So I just leave that off because obviously we don't want it uh, get breaking. So also within this derailleur you can use your two mil driver and you can put more tension on if you want now you're going to do this put your finger on top of there and make sure that you're pushing down on it and then just turn it in a quarter of a turn at a time that's all you need you don't need to go mental so 
so but anyway yeah that's that done now another thing i like to do is to try and keep as much of the crap out if you put that in dry yeah obviously it's it's gonna do a bit of a job but it's not gonna do the best it can do so you just get a little bit of grease and just rub the grease right around the whole seal that will give it a better seal because it's actually got something for any of the crap that gets drawn in to be stuck to now and I'd rather it was stuck on the seal than it was obviously stuck within the, the mech itself or within any of the, the components so just put a little bit of grease on there and then make sure that that is seated correctly you'll know when it goes in because it'll just drop like that and then give your housing a thorough cleaner and just wipe the face down make sure the face is all nice and clean and then anything that's in there give that a good clean out and then you can drop the housing on and then drop in the uh, three screws again now the three screws have got Loctite on um, they should to be honest with you put a bit more Loctite on when you put them together but this is only for obviously instructional purposes so put your Loctite on and then just screw them back in now you don't need to crank down on these like you don't need to go berserk just put them in make sure that they're relatively tight and then that should do you especially if you've got loctite on there the loctite itself should hold the screw in so it shouldn't be able to vibrate loose so you just put them in and then once they've nipped up just a little quarter of a turn that'll hold them in place and let's see if it works so it should freely turn the clutch off Oh, not very nice. Clutch on. So that seems to be working again now. So it's a lot better than it was as well. So that is how you service the clutch on your SLX M7100 Shadow Plus 12 speed bloody bloody blah really. So I, that's pretty much how you service one of them. Um, the only other thing I'd say is make sure you give it a good, a really good degreasing. You know, make sure everything's all spick and span and nice and clean. I, and it's also worth applying a little bit of grease just inside here on the spring, just to try and keep any of the crud out there, out there that part of the mechanism basically. Um, unfortunately, as I said, they're not like the SRAM ones. You know, so the the Shimano ones you will need to keep on top of the servicing. Now I recommend doing it, you know, once every two, maybe even three months. I just obviously ensures that it runs nice and smooth and it does what it should do. So, anyways, I will. Uh, I'll let you all crack on. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it all informative. If you want, then bash this subscribe button wherever they put it, or I'll put a little icon over there. Uh, in which case you can click that and that will automatically subscribe you yeah? um, and also you know check out the other videos I've got just put one up a couple of weeks ago from Bike Park Wales I've got a couple of leads for, uh, couple from Leeds Bike Park as well um, I feel that I'm, I'm majorly progressing you know within my riding for, I've only been riding again since August and I would like having a 15 year break so anyways I'll, uh, I'll stop rambling shit now and I'll let you all batter on so thanks very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one cheers guys bye